The fight that we got robbed off, check out Paulo Costa versus Hamzat Chimaev in UFC 5. Our tail of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Hamzat Bors Chimaev! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Paolo the Eraser You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, well, he has officially taken the sport by storm. The bona fide welterweight contender, Kamzat Shimaev, undefeated and appears to be on a trajectory to future championship greatness. How will he approach this stylistic challenge here tonight? A lot of people feel like he'll take the fight to the canvas, but as you know, he's got a lot of confidence in his hands. We'll see if he can find a power stroke early in this round. Ooh, nice defense. I thought that punch might get through. Nice. Nicely done. High impact takedown for Hamzat Chimaev early, and clearly he's taking the path of least resistance tonight. I watch Hamzat Chimaev, and I'm always amazed at his ability to not only get takedowns, but get them so easily. And it seems like it takes so little effort to get the fight to the ground. He will tell you what he's going to do, and he is constantly doing exactly that. This is a terrible position. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Shimaev's in half guard. Big ground and pound. Good work from the top here by Shimaev. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Oh, in the mouth. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Great job landing from the top position. Well, he's got his back now. These ground strikes are starting to add up. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, feet on the hips here. Shimaev's back in half guard. Nice sub attempt. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flu choke looks locked in. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to lock for himself to get subbed. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Oh. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again, control. He did Ready it perfect. Fight. Ready. Ready. All right, round two. Left hook coming is what? Hook is there again. Swing and a miss by Chimaya. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh, overhand to the dome. When he 
gets close, he throws, he lands. He gets to the second foul time. Look at the flare on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. And there's the single. Shimaev's in half court. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. He's having his way with him here. Oh, nice. Great ground and pound by this man. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. I love, I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Ooh. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Gets back up. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. Oh, nice level change. Uh, Ten minutes uh, in the can. Stop! 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 Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go, third and final round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Straight punch. Houston. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, and separation to clinch. Beautiful job getting his hands up. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, timely knee to the body there. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh, how many knees can one man take? The takedown defense has held up thus far. It's a pretty fast jab. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. Shimaev's going for the sub here. Oh, that Von Flu choke is tight. Oh, flips the switch as he changed the submission attempt. He jumps right to the opposite side trying to get the arm track. Oh. 
moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Foster's in half guard now. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Making all these shots count. Oh, nice elbow. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Be careful here. Nice transition. Lands with the ground and pound. Another strike gets through from the top position. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass by all the men the opposite side. Drop his chair. I mean, how about that back and forth action throughout the final minute? What a fight as we go the full 15. All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised tonight. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, follow the Eraser Costa! All right, so as many of you expected, the kickboxer is able to outpoint the wrestler here tonight, one of the cleaner efforts of his UFC career, and not a hard fight to score. I would think five-year-olds, if they watched those 15 minutes, they all would have had it for the kickboxer. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is without question going in his direction, and rightfully so.